On Thursday, the U.S. House of Representatives passed an $858 billion defense spending bill with bipartisan support, sending it to the Senate for ratification. Some of the most talked about aspects of the legislation are the repeal of the military COVID-19 vaccine mandate and the increase in spending, over $80 billion more than last year's appropriation. That is larger than the entire military budget of countries like Germany, France, and the United Kingdom. But as the USVI delegate to Congress, Stacey Plaskett, pointed out, this year's National Defense Authorization Act includes some of her proposed amendments that will prove beneficial to the USVI and to America's defense posture in the Caribbean. The amendments include measures to assess the need for increased counter-trafficking operations concerning both drugs and people, as well as disaster preparedness and response. The U.S. must also consider what measures could or should be taken to counter, quote, China and Russia's malign influences in the Caribbean region, according to Plaskett, who did not elaborate further. The draft of the NDAA that the Senate will consider also includes infrastructural projects deemed key to national security priorities, including some that target the USVI specifically. One of these is the Water Resources Development Act of 2022, which authorizes $1.6 million for improvement of waste water infrastructure in the territory. The VI Waste Management Authority has been tasked with executing the project. The legislation also includes an Army Corps of Engineers demonstration program in VI coastal waters to detect, prevent, treat, and eliminate harmful algal blooms such as sargassum. The Veterans Affairs Department has also been tasked with establishing a committee that would provide advice and guidance on matters relating to veterans in U.S. territories. The Advisory Committee on U.S. Outlying Areas would, among other things, advise the VA on how to improve programs and services for veterans living in the territories. Other Plaskett-sponsored amendments serve to expand minority participation in STEM fields in the Department of Defense and authorize over $130 million to help expand research efforts in HBCUs and minority-serving institutions, among other targeted actions.